All right, we are in southern Louisiana, and today we find ourselves at Jean Lafitte. I don't think so. Jean Lafitte. Jean Lafitte National Historic Park. You might be wondering, who is Jean Lafitte? We'll find out in a moment. We are here at Jean Lafitte National Historic Park. And basically, this park encompasses about, what is it, about seven different sites, right, Julie? Mm -hmm. And all of them are here to preserve the way of life in the Mississippi Delta. Maybe we'll start off with a little introduction of who Jean Lafitte is, and I'll turn it over to our friendly park ranger right now. Jean Lafitte was a pirate 200 years ago, but he was not just smuggling material goods, he was also a slave trader. He was smuggling slaves to this area hmm. to sell to the plantation owners. Because in 1808, the U.S. Congress abolished the African slave trade, and you can no longer legally bring slaves into the country. And the slave owners were working the slaves to death on the sugar plantations. So Lafitte stole, stole slaves that, that Spain was bringing from Africa to Cuba. And then he could sell them for a very cheap price because he, he didn't pay for them in the first place. So the law was always trying to catch him. And that's why he would, do, he would hold the auctions out here where we are, out here in the boondocks, so to speak. That way if the law comes after him, he could always make a quick getaway to the swamp. All right, so our first stop here at Jean Lafitte is the Palmetto Trail. And uh, we just started it. Let me show you what we saw within about 50 feet of the entrance. Good eye, little man. Way to go. We're going to send that picture to Grandpa. <laughs> See what kind of snake that Grandpa's is Grandpa's our authority on... Does Grandpa have pretty good response time with his cell phone? <laughs> so I'll stick around and wait for him to reply if we have to. See that snake, Shane? deep into the swamp now. <laughs> you guys hear those birds? Yeah. Shane, see the alligator? He's uh, right there. Hey, Mr. Alligator, can you back up a little bit? You're kind of in the shade. You can't see it. All right, guys. Pretty neat trail, huh? Yeah. Very you nice. like it? So the... Uh, Palmetto Trail is uh, nine tenths of a mile, all on boardwalk. And we could leave this, go to the Bayou Trail, which is about a half a mile. Then that goes to the Marsh Trail, which is about another half mile. So we're doing half of this. We're gonna go to the end. We're probably getting pretty close right now. But uh, it is, as I said, beautiful because it's all on boardwalk. A lot of work to build a trail like this. And Shane, what is that red thing right there? Is that a raspberry? That was our first turtle. This is it guys, we found the field. Wow, this will bring back memories. Let me tell you about what happened on this field back in 1985. So as I said, back in 1985, um, I was going to school up in Wisconsin and we had a tremendously good rugby team. We were invited to play at this Mardi Gras tournament here at the uh, Louisiana State University in Baton Rouge. So we're on our way now to Jean Lafitte National Historic Site. And I thought, let's just stop by LSU and see if we could find the actual field that we played rugby on. And here it is. Boy, I can't believe it, 35 years ago man a lot of good memories yeah this is definitely the field i remember taking a picture with one of my teammates at that tree right there and i also remember the football stadium 
lights that are right right back there as well this is it this is the field man we were up in that cold state of Wisconsin playing rugby wearing our short pants and I remember even in February in Louisiana how hot we were we just weren't playing in temperature that was this warm we we're playing all these schools from down south and they were just chanting we're melting these guys we're melting these guys they were just dying dying with the heat body's definitely not acclimated to it it's amazing again 1985 I remember like it was yesterday this field right here playing on this field right here it was a tough sport rough sport rugby as a matter of fact that's why when I transferred my junior year to Illinois State University I dropped rugby and I started playing college football there it is there it is all right off to John Lafitte you guys ready let's go did you find what you wanted that was it I'm going 100% that was the field <laughs> it's beautiful here isn't it very nice <laughs> 